In the early 1960s, Dr. Frank Partridge was a cardiologist in the Royal Victoria Hospital in Belfast. Dr. Frank Partridge was in despair because the survival rates from cardiac arrest were virtually nil. He knew that the time was most significant in factor success outcome from heart attacks was six to eight minutes from collapse. The hospital uh, defibrillator was not portable. It was the size of a washing machine. Dr. Pantridge wanted to take the defibrillator out of the hospital and into the ambulance and directly to the patient. A rather crude device powered by car batteries was rigged up in the hospital, placed in a cardiac ambulance. With car batteries? Almost immediately, survival rates from cardiac arrest soared. The rest of the world took note. Take note, world. Back in the Royal Victoria Hospital in Belfast, the bioengineering department, working with outside engineers, perfected a small portable defibrillator known as the Pantridge P6, which later became known as the Temtech Light Guard 6. This is where our story comes back to Ralph Mullen. In the early 1800s, analog board Jim Shields, who has a home in Ralph Mullen for over 30 years, started a new company called Temtech. This is Gentai! Temtech and Royal Victoria Hospital Cardiology Department work closely to develop a highly accurate computer program to analyze the heart's rhythm, also known as an algorithm. A log? This algorithm was based on a huge database of thousands of actual heart recordings taken by the cardiac ambulances in Belfast and became the most accurate of its kind in the world. The Tantec RVH algorithm was 99% sensitive in correctly identifying a shockable heart rhythm and 98% specific, which meant it was also highly accurate at identifying when shockable rhythm was not present. In 1987, Tantec launched the world's first semi-automatic defibrillator called the Lifeguard 12. The Lifeguard 12 incorporated what was now recognized as the gold, of, gold standard of computer algorithms. This semi or partially automated defibrillator meant that a medical personnel with only minimal training could defibrillate patients. This new equipment became much more widely available and resulted in huge rises in survival rates. That's shocking. Fully automatic defibrillators, or AED, which is required even less medical expertise, became widely acceptable and able to use in local settings, like Rathmullen, meaning that life-saving defibrillation was almost immediately available to everyone. Jim Shades was then appointed to the Ulcer Hospital in North Down of Arts Trust as chairman under his direction that the chief executive, John Ferguson, the also NDNA, became the most char charter marked hospital trust in the UK. Jim was awarded the CBE for his services to healthcare in 2001. Good man, Jim!